Today's video is brought to you by Thinkster.io. Check out their new Fundamentals of Angular course featuring 13 hours of video and over 40 hands-on exercises. This course is completely free and designed so that you can understand and retain information up to five times faster. Go to Thinkster.io and get started today. Hey, what's up developers? It's Real Tough Candy from RealToughCandy.com back online with you today to give some inspiration, share some ideas with those of you who may be feeling a little fatigued from your most recent Yelp camp type project. When I say Yelp Camp, it's just kind of a blanket statement for a project that lots of people are doing. That project is coming from Colt Steele's classic course. It has over half a million people enrolled and Yelp Camp is the flagship project. Lots of people do it. Sometimes you just want to try something new. The problem is it can be difficult thinking of fresh ideas or finding something just out of the ordinary. Well, today, I am going to change that for you because I have five places, five resources, five URLs you can access to get some inspiration. Number one, we're just gonna kick it off. If you are a front end or full stack developer, this is kind of like dribble.com. We are gonna be talking about that one, spoiler alert. But basically, this is a repository for graphic designers, photographers, stuff they do in Illustrator, you know, illustrations, logos, stuff like that. Now, granted, a lot of these are just not going to be applicable to web projects. A lot of these are just photos with some text on top. First of all, when I'm going through this, I'm just looking for something that pops out to me. One thing that is a little obnoxious about this site, I will say, is that once you find something that's interesting, you click on it and then it takes you to other images. And this one is actually a video. So yeah, let's not go to that one. Graphic design was perhaps not the best one to pick, but infographics are something you often see on websites and web apps. These could be inspirational. And one thing, ooh, I'm liking this. I'm liking this. So I'm going to click on it. And yes, it showed me the image. Now, one thing you don't want to do is just straight up steal a design and use it as your own. That's bad. So what I'm going to do right here, if I were to actually use this as inspiration, I would focus in on a component. For example, how cool would it be to create a CSS animation of different sizes of bottles and different liquids being poured into them? I don't know why I would need that, but as a front end person, maybe I plan on applying to jobs where they're looking for people proficient in CSS animation. This would be a good start. Now, are they showing me how to do that in CSS? Absolutely not but it generated an idea. And that's the most important thing in this process of finding inspiration is latching on to an idea. It could be a very specific idea. It could be a vague one, but any sort of idea is gonna get that spark going and propel your brain to do things. Even going in here, this little eyeball is really cool. And what you could do when you're doing this is just take some screenshots and put them in a folder and check them out when you're done and, and see what you can do with them. There's gonna be some new combinations you might discover. The spelling on this site is so obnoxious. It's D-R-I-B-B-B-L-E, that's three Bs. Dribble.com. I do find that a lot of these are more web-centric, if you will. There's a lot of mobile stuff here and don't worry though, if you just do desktop stuff, there's stuff here for you too. This one is really cool. How cool would this be to recreate in CSS? You know, change these colors, change this font a little, but even exploring some of the CSS properties that make fonts go up just a little bit. These shapes are not perfect. You can see there's a little notch in the cylinder here. That looks really neat. That would be a cool project to try and do just using CSS and a little bit of HTML. Uh, with the font and the colors there and the layout. Like think about this too, you could use the grid or flex box. And just like Behance, you have your categories here, but going back to the web centric thing, they do have a web design category and a mobile category. So let's check out web design. If you're doing a full stack application, they're not gonna tell you step-by-step step how to make it. But again, that first idea, just getting the neurons firing in your brain to give you some ideas. This is dribble.com, again, D-R-I-B-B-B-L-E. If these landing pages, these infographics are just a little too lightweight for you, may I suggest? <laughs> github.com. This is a little more choose your own adventure because there is so much to explore here and it's really difficult to explore stuff. They do have an explore repositories section over here. It's not very helpful. It's pretty random. So it's up to you to figure out what you want to search for. I'm going to search for just 
I don't know. What do you think? Maybe something with projects, project ideas. Let's try that. And I'm pretty sure there's going to be thousands of things that pop up. Over 10,000 repository results. You may even find some software developers to follow or collaborate with. And look at this Brad Traversy on the front page. <laughs> you never really know what you're going to come across. But to make things easier for you, I've selected two specific GitHub repos, which are number four and number five on this list. Number four, courtesy of Danny Stefanovich, build your own X is one of my all time favorite repos. It is such a wonderland for programmers. So many languages available. This may not be the best repo if you're just starting out, just because so many of these projects are for intermediate or advanced developers. However, it may be worth a visit or just star it so you can come back to it once you start getting your feet wet with programming. Build your own front end framework or library. All of these, whoa, JavaScript from top to bottom, build yourself a Redux, let's write Redux, Redux, three of them for Redux, and probably even more I'm missing, how to write your own virtual DOM. These are some cool projects. There's also a pretty big section for games, and the thing I like about this too is that it's pretty language diverse. C, C+, C Sharp, Go, Java, JavaScript, Python, Ruby, and even Rust. Build your own Git. Developers, not a lot of people are building their own regex engine. How cool would it be to build that in JavaScript? But as you can see, it just goes on and on. It is such a fun little playground. That is Danny Stefanovich. Build your own X. And finally, number five, Florin Pop. Some of you may I know him from YouTube. He's on dev.to. I see this guy around everywhere and I see him again right here with his repo app ideas. This is a good one for just about everyone. Lorem Ipsum generator, notes app, product landing page, wind chill calculator, weather app. Some of these ideas are more compelling than others, but they're still, I mean, there's pretty much something for everyone on this repo. I did want to share these two repos in particular, but do remember you have the entirety of GitHub to explore other people's projects. So maybe you have a vague idea in mind, but you just want to see it in action. You want to see how other people do it. This search bar right here is your best friend when it comes to that. So don't dismiss GitHub for finding project ideas. And then going back to our first two, we explored Behance a little and it's sibling-ish, dribble.com, D-R-I-B-B-B-L-E, for some front end designs and some graphic designs and different components you could get some ideas with. There you have it, developers. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, hit that thumbs up button and let me know what sites you've been using to generate some inspiration to get you out of that project rut. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.